Tia Singh Dev, Deputy Chief Minister of the State of Chhattisgarh, is over the phone line with us right now. So thank you so much for speaking to India today, sir. So what do you make of uh, what is being speculated as possibly one of the agendas of uh, the special session of Parliament, which has been called by the Centre between 18 to 22nd of September, that a bill on one nation, one election could be introduced, sir? Good morning to you. Good morning to all uh, your viewers. Uh, I don't know whether the agenda is coming in the uh, parliament session called uh, at the moment. But if it does, uh, then it will be discussed, I'm sure. Uh, people in all their wisdom, all the public representatives, elected representatives, they will give their views and uh, we'll come to a conclusion. It will require a change in the constitution if right. we are wanting elections to the central and state assemblies uh, at the same time. Mm -hmm. So if there is the strength and there is the willingness to do that, then there is the possibility. There is a possibility, you're saying, of actually making this happen. Where does your party stand, sir? I do not uh, know really the stand of my party. We've not discussed it or there has not been any exchange of views as such. Uh, the matter has been in circulation for a couple of years now. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, you cannot have state and uh, parliament elections as per the situation today. So unless there is a change in the constitution... Right. which will need to stipulate that uh, if an election, uh, if a body, elected body falls with before the five-year term, mm -hmm. the next uh, body, whichever uh, government uh, comes into place, will serve for the balance period. So if there is a government which has served for four years, then the next government will serve for one year only. If the government has served for one year, then the income coming government will serve for the balance four years. So that is the change that is required in the constitution. If it comes about, then only it will be a reality. Okay, so uh, um, sir, I don't know if you've seen what the Law Commission has proposed, at least in the draft that they prepared in 2018. How do you think this synchronization of uh, Lok Sabha and State Assembly elections can actually happen, sir? The issues would be about the management of the elections, mm -hmm. uh, the number of personnel required, uh, particularly the uh, forces that man the polling booths. Somebody was mentioning about 7 lakh polling booths to be managed. Mm -hmm. So it is the security personnel, uh, the number of security personnel required that needs to be looked into for a free and fair poll. Uh, that apart, the pe people who man the polling booth itself, they are uh, state level uh, officials. So that mm -hmm. shouldn't be an issue. Uh, that is the only thing that I see that needs to be practically looked into. As an idea, sir, just my final question, do you welcome it? One nation, one election? We started our democratic process uh, on this platform itself. Right, yeah. 1952 elections were there, so it's not a new idea. Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, the political situation has brought about uh, uh, the current uh, scenario where uh, you have different parliament and state elections, so it's not a new idea at all. So you'd welcome if we go back to this? Personally. Okay, so personally you'd welcome the idea of one nation, one election. Mr. Deo, thank you so much for speaking to India today. So that was, of course, Tia Singh Deo, the Deputy Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh Singh. At a personal level, he welcomes the idea of one nation, one election. But, of course, uh, the Congress party stand actually as it stands on this issue is yet to be known. Remember that the centre has formed a committee. It will, of course, reach out to all stakeholders concerned to get their opinions and suggestions on board as well.